I know I have been gone for a while, okay? Um, but I'm here celebrating my one year anniversary of playing Final Fantasy XIV. Apparently we don't want to go into the dungeon today. Right, there we go. So, we're doing Hatalati hard. Or however you want to pronounce it. So, <laughs> yeah. We're for, like, continuing off where we left off, which was the lost city of Amdapur. So, yeah. I believe we start off by going this way because that way is later on I don't know are we all ready? <laughs> one or more people I can, I'm can. i guessing it's the Sprout which is the other DPS now I'm on my Samurai because I'm trying to get my Samurai up to level 61 at the moment to get a weapon that I have just sat in my armory chest So let's see how this goes, huh? So basically the um, grand companies have then, after we've cleared this out before, have um, made this into like a gladiator's pet. And we are here to prove ourselves as worthy opponents, I guess. Ooh. Right, we can face it because we're not in the thing. We're not in the cone that it showed, but usually um, you turn away or you get out of it. Um, there's a few mechanics later on in the game where you cannot just move out of something. You literally have to turn away. An example of that would be Cinder Drift. Um, which is a later on um, trial. As you can kind of see, I'm on a quest at the moment to confront um, a person in the new, and I mean new, trial, uh, which came out a couple of weeks ago uh, with... Um, Endwalker patch 6.2 which brought out more duty support so um, like the vault which I will probably do uh, with duty support because um, we all want a bit of horse chiffon I miss the guy to bits and yeah um, duty support is something that's quick it's simple, you don't have to worry about the cues. Um, you know, especially as a DPS. Oh my god, the cues are horrendous. Um, I was waiting f to do these recordings this morning before I had to go out. Um, and then my internet went down, so it never happened. So here I am at, you know, 10 to 11 at night. And I know that people in the comment section are going to be like, You've just missed a chest! Yeah, I know. It's fine. I don't need the equipment. Um, if I do get equipment, it'll be going towards the Dome and Enclave. Because uh, that's what I'm doing outside of this. So, like, I get the gear just to donate it to help improve the Dome and Enclave. Okay, first boss coming up. We'll talk to the gladiator trainer. He'll open up the gate. Okie dokie. I just noticed we have a dark knight in our hands. So, um, this one will have a mammoth, which is over there. We'll get trumped in. It's 100 ton swing, so get the fuck out. Uh, you need to also... Um, some point do this yeah I got it which will then pause that we then get into this I'm probably not made it we 
Yeah, it, it hurts. Ow, that also hurts, so, you know, get the hell out of that. Okay, how are we all looking? So he's going to continue on with his little thing. I'm super hit by that. Um, and I'm dead. I don't actually remember the full mechanics to this, I will admit. I just know bits and pieces. Uh, you know. So they're all stood there. They should probably stand behind the guy, to be quite honest. The healer is resing me. Ooh! Yeah, um, I would say before you go on a resing spree, um, heal yourself up. But thank you. <laughs> so, after I'm now up, I should have a five second transparency to help the healer res me up. Like, he heal me up. Um, now that I'm not in that uh, transparency, I'm going to come in and, well attack this also is another bit of evidence that I die I'm not the best player that there is I don't think I'm the best player um, that might be useful to my blue mage never know but yeah this is what my levels look like at the moment yeah after one year that is what I'm looking like. I should probably um, close it down as well. Right, so now we're back at the beginning, as you can see, and we're going through this one here. Okay, we went through uh, that one over there. This time we're going through this one. Okay. This is just going to be a ton of more ads, like you know, pups. What I really want to know is like how much time has gone by between each of these expansions. Because I don't think it would be like so long. I mean, Alphano and Alize, when you first meet them, are like 16 years old, according to, you know sources um, and they're probably like 18 now maybe because like they've matured they've grown and it's character development at the end of the day I'm just gonna go nab this oh my number nine right it's all just level 50 gear anyway I don't have the speed of my ninja that ninja can freaking jump as well. I like that ninja has their own uh, jump animation. Oh. Hello, pit basilisk. I did never reap earlier. Oh my god, it was slow and it was hard. Um tank wasn't pulling things away from people the healer wasn't exactly healing but you know um the tank was doing it because they, he they needed it for the story you know i gave my accommodation to the dps because getting commendations to the dps is painful um but yeah. And me literally just being a DPS. It, it, I know the difficulties of getting those commendations. I mean, I'm in the 400s with my commendations, but yeah. I mean, reputation. I'm at 432 commendations, which is pretty good for someone who just does DPS. And my tank in healing 
is just from Duty Support, which came out Endwalker. So, yeah. Um, another reason why I haven't been recording was there was recently a Moogle event, so I was just farming um, Aurum Vale, which I've already done a video of. Um, been going through a ton um, in real life. Um, stuff I don't want to get into, um, stuff that is mentally just draining for me. Um, but I'm getting the help for now, which, you know, screaming for freaking years for. Oh my god. Um, but, you know, that's what mental health places are like. Um, so this guy, there's something to do with the shadowy orbs. I think you have to, like, maybe absorb one. No, I'm demonized before I could get there. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're fine. Right? No, I have vulnerability in gloom. It's fine. We'll just second wind it. Bruh. Don't fucking roar at me, bitch. Right, tainted eye. Get rid of that. So he's incapacitated for a few seconds. We'll get rid of this um, vulnerability and he is down momentarily there we go open this up okay that's good for bard, dancer, machinist right talk to the elite gladiator trainer again and you will proceed to the third stage that's letting me know that something's been added to my inventory. Right, so we have these three bits here. Okay, so this time we have pit wolves and a lancer. Filthy lancers. No one actually likes playing lancers, so um believe in 6.2 they actually like rejigged it so that people would play it again and I will say I enjoy playing Lancer it's just um, a rare occasion that I do you know I'm leveling things up so I can get the Amora amount whenever things level like in 80 and I'm nearly there just everything being at level 50 and 60 few things at level 70, um, I'm looking at Sage there, um, three classes at level 90, which is nice because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to do any of my um, Endwalker stuff. Um, today I logged on and had um, a bunch of Reaper gear in my mail um, that my good friend Harry in the Tales of Eorzea had made me so I can now continue on with the story and not worry about you know my gear for a while so yep okay next up we just go through here you know just take a little bit of a, like a left turn just head north really Okay, so we have a marauder and two archers. It's basically a tank and two DPSs. I should probably move out. And the funny thing is that as well, I believe the trial that I need is also in here. 
If it's not in here, then it's in Uldar. I can't remember the location. So, um, something to do with Hildebrand. But I haven't done that one ever since I had to do it for the quest. So, yeah, if I don't remember those mechanics, that's why. I haven't done it in like 10 months. Maybe, I don't know. Me playing for a year. Yay! Yeah, it is this room. This exact room is where the quest is. I shall test that. The final test shall pitch you against something of something of something. Ugh, it's a la la fell. Dude, put some freaking clothes on. I say this and I've just got underpants on and a top. And my knee high boots. Yeah. This um, glamour that I have on though gets like all of the commendations. Like, I'm going to focus on this little freaking Lalafell. Oh no, it's not Lalafell. The Lala is the boss? The actual boss? I don't know. Oh, hello. Yep, get out of there. Right, what you want to do is most likely get rid of this big guy first. And then deal with the little guy. I think that's the way to do it. I mean, we're all just attacking the big guy. Oh no, I have chains on me. So, um, yep, get rid of that. When you see a scepter, and we move out of the circle anyway. Because, yeah, that happens. In black mages. Oh no, I am bound. Oh, sugar puffs. It's fine. So as long as they get that, and then we dash on out. Dude. Right, and then we just focus on this guy. I don't even feel bad that I'm murdering Alala. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I got one less swing on it. Once I see that it's been cast. Um, I instantly run back in. Right. And GG with that one. It's a lot of dead peeps. A glorious contest I hard pa pressed to restrain. Okay, because everyone left. Yeah, everyone left. It's fine. So guys, um, that was this dungeon. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe, explore Eorzea, and uh, well, you know the gist. Peace out.